Hi everyone, it's Ashley coming from the Curry Group Demo Center in Sydney. I'm standing with our Canon Colorado M series. Today we're going to show you the different finishes you can achieve on this machine. Um, obviously you can print your gloss, you can print your matte and you can print a mixture of those two. And we've had a lot of questions with people asking, well, where's the clear ink on the machine? Simple answer is there is no clear ink, it's all done through curing and we'll show you the differences in how it achieves that curing and some of the great results we can get. So now we're printing in gloss mode. At the end of the day, gloss is just basically a smooth finish, like this lid. This lid is incredibly smooth, you've got a great gloss effect. We're doing exactly the same thing with the ink. What we've done is separated the print bridge from the curing bridge. And what that, what that means can happen is it gives it time from printing to curing for the ink droplet to hit the substrate and flatten out and become smooth, become glossy. So we're now printing in matte mode. Just take note of what the curing bridge is doing. It's basically following the print carriage. And what's happening is that light from the curing bridge is reflecting down and curing the ink as it's being printed. So it's coming down, hitting the substrate and curing. That's given us our matte effect. So we're now printing in flex finish mode, so a mixture of matte and gloss. Very, very similar to how we print in matte mode, whereby the curing bridge, it follows the print carriage. The only difference is we have a third mirror around the print carriage. And that mirror is designed to only pin half of the print and that half of the print will be matte. So as soon as it comes down, it gets its little pin, becomes matte, doesn't spread. The remainder of the print head becomes gloss and that gets cured later on by the main curing bridge. Incredibly simple, but very, very effective. So there you go. Hopefully that helps explain a bit about how we can differentiate the curing on the Colorado. Now, one of the things that we've also been asked a lot is, okay, that's great, we can do these different finishes, but obviously it now means that I can no longer laminate my print. So what's the durability like on the ink? So what we're gonna do is a bit of a test. We know it's got very good chemical resistance, these inks, because at the end of the day, it's UV. You know, there's chemistry in there that bonds it to the substrate. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bit of a, a graffiti test. So we're gonna stick some of these up outside, uh, put some spray paint on them, leave them over the weekend, and then we're gonna remove it with graffiti just to show you how durable these inks are. Okay, so we've left the uh, the prints outside over the weekend. You know, we've had some good weather this weekend. We had a baking hot sun, big storms, and even a bit of humidity now. Um, what I'm gonna do now is uh, take some anti-graffiti remover, apply it over this, and just see how A, the paint comes off, and B, how does that ink film stack up to the attack of the chemicals? Bearing in mind there's no laminate on this. What we've got though is gloss here and matte here, and we'll see what the difference in the, uh, the finishes provide in terms of the, the durability to the inks. So we'll do that now. So look, to be honest, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with these results. Um, look, the, uh, the ink removal, you know, we've put a lot of chemicals into this. Um, you can see the ink film is still pretty well intact. And obviously there's a couple of areas where it's worn down a little bit, but I was not expecting a result quite like this. And if you look at the, the color of the cloth, clearly it's taken off a lot of the paint and virtually none of the, uh, of the ink film itself. Um, at the end of the day, these inks aren't designed to have anti graffiti properties in them. Um, and we're not saying, you know, it is safe for anti graffiti, but what we are saying is they are very, very durable. Um, I challenge a lot of people to do it on other technologies and actually see if we can get this result because that's pretty good. Um, it's been out for two days. We've soaked it in chemicals just then, even in some spots. I've rubbed it hard and you can still see the print on the vinyl. It's, um, it's pretty remarkable, to be honest. Um, look, thank you for your time. Um, any questions regarding uh, Canon Colorado or anything else in our range, please contact Curry Group. Thank you.